Biden dropping out of the presidential election, y'all. This is probably contrary to what you would assume I would say, but I think that is actually a terrible thing for the housing market, landlords, real estate investors. That's right. I think Biden dropping out is bad for housing. Let's discuss. <laughs> All right, y'all. So Joe Biden, a few days ago, he drops out of the housing, or I'm sorry, he drops out of the presidential election, right? And I'm here talking to y'all about how that affects housing, how that affects real estate investing, right? For those not in the know, that's what we do here. That's what I do. I've made my career in real estate, right? So when things that happen, right, out there in the political spectrum happen, right, I usually view them through the lens of how does this affect real estate investors, my audience, my customers, my clients, et cetera, et cetera, my business partners, right? And uh, this is probably not great for the housing market that Joe dropped out of the race, right? Let me explain. It's not that Joe himself is good for investors and good for housing, because he's certainly not, right? Uh, the race thus far has been Trump versus Biden, right? Donald Trump, the most famous real estate investor in the world, right? Billionaire real estate mogul investor. He's running on, we got to get interest rates down. We got to fix the housing market, we can't have these insanely high regulations and rates and all of these anti-business uh, policies in place, right? All of that, unsurprisingly, is great for people like me, people like you most likely watching, who are making their living, making their money through investing in housing, right? So Trump is good for housing, right? We're all on the same page. Biden, on the other hand, bad for housing. Biden wants more regulation. Biden even is pushing for national rent control, right? So landlords, investors, people that make money in the housing market, you are enemy number one of the Biden administration, right? So Biden in itself, bad for investors. A Biden candidacy, not good, right? We don't want four years of Biden if we're making money in the real estate market. We really, really want four years of Trump, okay? So, Biden dropping out should be good, right? No, it's bad, guys. It's bad because you got to look at the timing of all this, dude. Biden, people have been telling his geezer ass to drop out for a very long time now, right? It's been clear that Biden, you know, he's not going to beat Trump, right? And he's been battling, battling his own people, you know, allegedly, right, trying to stay in this race. And it looked like a foregone conclusion that Trump was going to win. And then, of course, the Trump assassination attempt happens. And then, you know, we get that iconic moment where he sticks his fist in the air and he's got the blood dripping down, right? At that moment, right, it became clear that it, it was like an unwinnable race for Joe Biden. Trump was going to run away with this thing, right? The, the pretty much all polling, all political opinions, like nobody thought that Biden had a chance to win. And that's not like a political leaning opinion. That is literally the opinion of everyone on every side, right? It's just like as clear as this clipboard is black, it's, it's clear that, uh, you know, Trump was going to win that election. Biden had no chance defeating Trump, right? So after that assassination attempt happened, the Democrats had no choice but to throw a friggin' Hail Mary. They've even been reports that Pelosi's ready to play was ready to play hardball with Joe Biden to get him to exit the race so they could do the Hail Mary and put somebody else in. Looks like that person's gonna be Kamala Harris, okay? So this is the part that's bad, okay? Kamala Harris expected to pick up the same types of housing policies, anti-investor, anti-landlord policies that we don't want to see, right? She's expected to continue that on, right? So Trump's still leading, right? Trump's still leading her in the polls, but it's not as obvious of a beatdown, so to speak, right? So by Joe Biden dropping out, folks, he's actually reduced 
the probability that the pro real estate investor candidate wins. Do I believe personally that Trump is still going to walk away with the victory here in 2024? Yes. Is all of the polling still showing that? Yes. But that is something we need to be cognizant of as we look at investing in the housing market. The race just got a little bit closer with Joe exiting because he was a lame duck, dude. He was done for. Kamala, she is polling better than Joe. Not as good as Trump, but Biden backing down, exiting the race. That has opened the door for more anti-landlord legislation, anti-real estate investor sentiment to creep into the national spectrum, to creep into the White House. So that is something we got to be cognizant of. So if you're an investor, if you're making your money through the real estate market, you better be paying attention to what is going down with the 2024 election and Joe backing out. That was a big, big thing. Let's stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.